Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will cover the basics of Hyper-V networking and go over some key networking terminologies commonly used in Hyper-V. A basic understanding of networking in Hyper-V helps you plan networking for virtual machines. Basic networking in Hyper-V is fairly simple. It uses two parts, a virtual switch and a virtual networking adapter. You will need at least one of each to establish networking for a virtual machine. The virtual switch connects to any Ethernet based network. The virtual network adapter connects to a port on the virtual switch which makes it possible for virtual machine to use a network. The easiest way to establish basic networking is to create a virtual switch when you install Hyper-V role. When you create a virtual machine, you can connect it to the switch. Connecting to the switch automatically adds a virtual network adapter to the virtual machine. Now let's explore Hyper-V networking in more detail. Hyper-V networking is a process of enabling communication between virtual machines, the Hyper-V host and external networks. It includes setting up virtual switches, network adapters and various network configurations to ensure that VMs can send and receive data seamlessly within a virtualized environment. Let's break it down step by step. At the core of Hyper-V networking are virtual switches. These are software-based switches that manage communications between VMs and external networks. In Hyper-V, there are three types of virtual switches. External, internal and private virtual switches. External virtual switch connects VM to the physical network. VMs can communicate with other devices on the network and the internet just as if they were physical machines. Internal virtual switch allows communication between VMs and the Hyper-V host machine but not with the outside world. VMs can talk to each other and the, to the host but they don't have internet or external network access. Private virtual switch provides the most isolation. VMs connected to a private virtual switch can only communicate with each other. They cannot talk to the host machine or external networks. I'll create a separate detailed video on the different types of virtual switches and when to use each one. Now let's talk about virtual network adapters. Each VM in Hyper-V is assigned a virtual network adapter which connects to one of the virtual switches we discussed earlier. The virtual NIC allows the VM to communicate over the network by using the same protocols as physical network adapters. You can configure network adapters with different settings like static IPs or DHCP depending on the desired network behavior. In Hyper-V, there are two types of virtual network adapters. The Hyper-V specific network adapter and the legacy network adapter. The Hyper-V specific network adapter is available for both Generation 1 and Generation 2 virtual machines. It's designed specifically for Hyper-V and requires a driver that is included in Hyper-V integration services. This network adapter offers better performance and is the preferred option unless you need network booting or are using an unsupported guest operating system. The necessary driver is only provided for supported guest operating systems. In Hyper-V Manager and the networking commandlet, this adapter is simply referred to as a network adapter. The legacy network adapter is available only in Generation 1 virtual machines. It emulates an Intel 21140-based PCI Fast Ethernet adapter and can be used for network booting, allowing you to install an operating system from services like Windows Deployment Service. Let's now explore the different types of virtual machine connectivity. When discussing virtual machine connectivity, there are typically different types or methods of how a VM can interact with the network both internally within the hypervisor environment and externally with other machines or networks. These methods are crucial for setting up communication between VMs and between a VM and the outside world. In VM-to-VM -VM communication, VMs that are connected to the same virtual switch can communicate with each other. Depending on the type of virtual switch, VMs may have the ability to communicate outside of their isolated environment or they may be restricted to internal communication only. In VM to host communication, the Hyper-V host can communicate with VMs through the internal or external virtual switches. 
The communication depends on the correct configuration of the virtual network adapter and if you use the internal switch, the host and VMs can share resources directly. VM to external network communication allows a VM to access the internal or external networks by connecting it to an external virtual switch which links the VM's virtual network adapter to the host machine's physical network adapter. VMs connected to an internal or private virtual switch are isolated from external networks. This setup is especially beneficial for scenarios such as testing, development or creating secure environments where VMs need to be shielded from outside communication. In some cases, VMs that are not directly connected to external networks may still require outbound access such as for updates. Network address translation can be configured to allow VMs on internal networks to access external resources while maintaining isolation. Hyper-V Manager allows you to create, manage and configure virtual switches. You can set up these virtual switches to fit your needs by deciding which network adapters they will connect to, the security settings and other advanced configurations like VLAN tagging to segment network traffic for VMs. Hyper-V also offers advanced features such as VLAN support, bandwidth management and network security. Hyper-V supports the use of virtual LANs for network segmentation, allowing traffic between VMs on the same physical host to be isolated even if they are connected to the same virtual switch. VLAN tags can be configured to assign each VM to a specific segment. Hyper-V also supports bandwidth throttling and quality of service settings allowing you to limit the amount of bandwidth a VM can use, ensuring a fair distribution of resources across multiple VMs. Hyper-V supports network security features such as MAC address spoofing prevention, DHCP guard and IP address spoofing protection, ensuring that your virtual network is secure. In large-scale environments, Hyper-V network virtualization allows network configurations to be abstracted enabling the creation of virtual networks that are independent of the physical infrastructure. This provides greater flexibility in managing network resources, particularly in multi-tenant scenarios like data centers. Hyper-V networking plays a key role in virtualization as it controls how VMs can communicate with each other and the physical network. By using virtual switches and network adapters, you can create isolated environments or enable full connectivity to external networks based on your requirements. Whether you are isolating VMs for testing or giving them full internet access, Hyper-V provides the flexibility to customize networking for any virtualized environment. That's all for this video on the basics of Hyper-V networking. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.